like how you made this? What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Dub Son. Today, you sparking up with Vans and Weed. And today, man, we got my boy, Green Montana, man. Up, man? You feel how you me? Doing, man? How you feeling today? Feeling good, man. Feeling good. For Kicking sure. and breathing, man. For Better sure. than bad. Feel like that, okay, man. Okay. Better than bad. I'm fucking with the glasses, too, man. Appreciate you, you man. Crazy, Acting man. Studios, man. You got to show up on the brand. Okay. Well, uh, can you tell us a little something about your upbringing, man? And... Shit, shit, shit. So, I grew up, man, I grew up in the Central Valley, basically, like, uh, mm -hmm. Like Tracy, Stockton area. <clears throat> uh, my family, they was in church and shit. You know, I grew up in the church. Mm -hmm. So they had me in choir. I was singing and shit. And then I uh, kind of picked up the drums. Picked up the drums a lot when I was a kid. Okay. And uh, I, I was just, I was always captive, like, uh, captivated by, like, the, you know, rhythm and beat. You feel me? So, like, yeah. growing up and being in choir, like, I was always hitting with the tambourine, like, shit like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? <clears throat> and then as I got older, I wanted to, like, you know, stand out more. So I started going for, like, solos and shit. And, um, uh, just kind of worked my way up through the choir when I was like a young kid, and then I got to about like 13, 14. Uh, yeah, like 13, and I picked up instruments. So I was picking up like the saxophone, playing mm -hmm. the piano and shit. And okay. then I remember I got to like eighth grade, and there was a kid in my class that was making music, and I was like, damn, bro, I want to do that too. Right, right. So I, uh, I don't even know if niggas remember this shit called Mixcraft. It was like a little, it was an old DAW. I got Mixcraft on one of my Microsoft computers, mm -hmm. and I just started trying to fuck around and record myself. Knowing that shit was not good, but <laughs> you feel yeah, me? I facts, was just trying, facts. you feel me? So you gotta just, you know, yeah. kinda jump in there and feel me. So like would you say like uh you being so universal as far as you learn like knowing how to play instruments and sing and shit like that, like that definitely played in, mm -hmm. yeah. That for sure played in just cause it was like if I knew like, okay, down beats and like like different grooves like four four grooves and six eight grooves mm -hmm. i know like what kind of song like yeah. as i got older i kind of got into songwriting you know because like when i was younger i always was like oh, i want to rap i want to do this but i don't know how i don't have nothing to talk about yeah so i kind of had to grow up and go through shit, and that made me be able to write so as i got older i went to college for songwriting um mm -hmm. and i just i was captivated by you know words and shit. In school, I sucked at I sucked at everything in school, but like yeah. words always just stuck out to me. So I just started doing the songwriting shit, and it rest is history. I'm, I linked up okay. with my boy D Dot, and now we out here just for and, sure, just, man. Just yeah, working, I've, been, man. I've been seeing you, man. You've been you and D Dot been going crazy, man. Been rocking. Hell yeah, that's my like, brother. That's my brother from another how mother. How y'all lock in? Shit. So I, when I was uh when I was probably like 13, 14, like I said, I went to high school. That's when I really wanted to start to make mm -hmm. music. I was living in Tracy, but I got a, uh, an opportunity to go to Dublin. I used to play uh, football at Valley Christian. Okay. And uh, I was always out there with like the pri you know, the little privileged kids and shit, seeing yeah. what they got. And uh, one of my homies was friends with uh, D-Dot. Uh, and he was like living in Livermore and shit. So I always see his music and shit and how mm -hmm. he's hella independent and doing all his shit on his own. And that just kind of made me like realize I could do this shit too. Like I already got the grasp. Like I wanted to learn how to record myself. Never really learned how officially. And I just knew, like, if I kept going at it, I'ma get there. And then once, once I kind of linked up with him, he saw that hunger and was like, "Yeah, I'ma, I'ma, I'ma yeah. give you the sauce." And now he got me. For you know, sure, for sure. I know how to record, do all that shit. Like I do that shit myself. Like, it's just, it feels okay. good to be able to wake up and do that shit yourself. You know what I mean? So, like, what would you say is your favorite part of the process? Like, is it, is it uh, producing, recording? Shit. Writing? I like honestly. I used to, I like recording, like to, to be honest, mm -hmm. I love recording, that process is fun just because before, like I never understood like punching, like I understood what punching in and shit was, but like I always used to write everything, I used to be able to freestyle, but like that was just with the homies, you feel me, you just mm -hmm. freestyling and shit in a circle, but once I got into the studio, I'm sitting right here in front of my laptop, my mic right here, where I could just boom, da -da 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 -da, do that shit hella quick, I could do bar for bar and make my shit more catchier, yeah. get full breaths in my lines and everything and make my shit sound full and complete. So, so you more with the punching in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And even if it is written, I'll still say everything. Like I'll do my first, yeah. third, fifth bar. Like I don't want to give away too much sauce, but shit, that's how yeah, niggas gotta know, do. You, you gotta know. do what you gotta do, right? Little game, little, hell yeah. You know. I always, I like to give away game, but shit. You feel me? Not too much. That's <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You feel me? So like, who would you say uh, Green Montana is? Like, what's uh like what's one uh, pack for word or you know? Or even a couple words, you feel me? And that groovy motherfucker named Groovy. I don't know, man. I just, I For felt sure. like as I got older, like, I've changed my name so much. But, like, as I've gotten older, I just felt like my music makes niggas feel groovy. Like, I love, I love to groove, you feel me? Like, 
I don't I don't really feel like I have such an old soul necessarily, mm -hmm. but I do kind of feel like that in a way, just because I feel mm -hmm. like my I, my parents are old, like and I got older parents, you feel mm -hmm. me? So, and I always grew up around older people. I was always the youngest nigga in the group, or whatever, whatever you right. might say. So I kind of tried to gravitate towards older people. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I don't want to do what niggas was doing now. I want to do what niggas is doing in the future. You know what I mean? I want to be ahead yeah. of the curve. So right. that's we, just they really be thinking like the OGs is kind of like stuck in the old time. Man, like they really man. be ahead of their time. They real. do like wiz. Like mm -hmm. my pops gave me a lot of wisdom, bro. Like and like I love that nigga to death, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like we be button heads, but he really gave me a lot of wisdom. Like I be, I just remember all the little shit he was saying. Don't put the horse before the cart. But like, you yeah. feel me? Like you can't. You can't talk about all the shit you want before you even put all the work in type of shit, you yeah, feel me? Right. So it's like, that always sticks with me, you feel me? So like, days where I'm just like, I feel like I'm stuck. I'm like, what mm. am I finna do? I just think about like, all right, let me get back to home base, realize what I gotta do, realize where I wanna go, you feel me? And make that shit happen, you feel me? Facts, okay. So, oh, yeah. uh, what's a couple artists, you feel me, that you say um, molded you or you feel me, that you really fuck with growing up? Mm, growing up, fuck, growing up, I was a, like, because I wasn't really in the Bay, I listened to a lot of Bay shit, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, but I was still, in, I'm in California, so I mean, I grew up in California listening to the Bay, a lot of Bay music, so like, Sue, Sue always a big inspiration, um, shit, Larry, I listen to a lot of Larry just because, like, mm -hmm. his game, like, his mind, like, that's just fascinating to me, like, no matter what, nigga, you gotta keep going, like, you feel me, like, right. out of everything, all these ups and downs, everything that hits you, everything that happens, gotta keep going so like that shit always right. sticks to me um, I like a lot of like shit like melodic shit cuz I'm a singer like I, naturally mm -hmm. I'm a singer so like I be singing on a lot of like Detroit beats. so like anybody that sings I really gravitate to like I like young blue um, yeah. I be fucking with Kalon for real for real out in LA too just I have a lot of different tastes bruh like to say I went to school in Chicago too for music so like okay I worked with Chance I got to write a song for them niggas uh, uh, Juke Jam I got to write a song for them niggas helped them so, write that shit in college uh, how was it like you feel me coming from Cali going to like a place like Chicago you feel me? Shit, it was different. It wasn't it wasn't different in a bad way. Like a lot of people used to tell me like, oh if you go out of California and they they know you're a Cali nigga, you either gonna be hella like or they hella gonna hate you. Mm -hmm. And I never got the hella hate. I got the more like, oh okay, this nigga like oh he smoked hella dope type shit. Mm -hmm. Granted I'm on the college football team too, so like I can't be smoking like that, but mm -hmm. I was doing what it's I had crazy, to do. Nigga <laughs> that smoke hella weed yeah, cool nigga, I would. Yeah, nigga. and I was always laid. Like I was yeah. no problems and shit. Nigga, I was in Chicago chilling. You feel me? But right. I just I, coming from coming from here and going there. They were like they expected me to be on that bass shit, which I was. But mm -hmm. it kind of got me outside of my box too, cause I got um I still have this song I'm sitting on. Like I have a beat for Metro Boomin, bro. Like yeah. I will say that. To, I will. I probably save that shit till I like really really get on. Like I got that beat when I was in Chicago, freshman freshman in college in Chicago, and I didn't know what to do on it. Like I had a nigga yeah. sing on it and I didn't know what to do on it until about like last year, two years ago. I spit what I had on it and I'm still sitting on it, bro. I just don't, you feel me? Like I'm, timing is everything, bro. Like you feel me? Like I'm saying, time is in the, timing is everything. So I've always yeah. just been like. You can't be scared of the beat, man. Exactly. Like and that's, said, yeah, man. You feel me? Can't be scared of the beat, man. Can't be scared of the beat. But nah, man, I just, every, like I said, man, it's just, it's a learning process. Slow, slow and steady wins the race. You know, as cliche sure. as it sounds, but. So I'm gonna run it up. What you what would you say is your favorite part about like doing this? Is, is it making the music or is it performing it? Honestly, man, I really like the studio vibes. Like I love performing too. Performing mm -hmm. hella fun. Like I used to be, I used to have hella bad stage fright, nigga. Like growing mm -hmm. up, I used to hate public speaking. Mm -hmm. Like I was, I was, I wasn't like an introvert, but I was, nigga. I like to keep to myself. I played sports. You feel me? So like I was behind a helmet or on a team. Like I mm -hmm. wasn't the main. I wasn't the star. But as I got older, I started acting in plays and shit too, so that kind of got me out of my comfort zone. And I, I love I love performing, but I really can say I love the studio vibes more. You feel me? Like, right. and when you're in the studio with all your niggas, and yeah. like, nigga, you hear that, whatever whatever bar you spit, or you hear the right auto tune, right, right key on your shit, and it's yeah. hitting, your niggas like, ooh, ooh, so what you say, <laughs> that's the one. What do you say you need to like get going in the studio? You feel me? A little ritual. Shit. My little ritual, honestly, I just be. <laughs> I gotta have my dome, bro. Like, I gotta either have my reposado or mm. just a couple blunts with my niggas. Like, you feel me? Nothing too spent, nothing too, like, spicy or nothing, but just more, like, good. it's just good vibes. I don't really need, like, vices a lot of times. Like, growing up, I used to always think, like, uh, I gotta be in there with hella bitches. I gotta be in there, like, oh, I need, yeah. I need, the, I need the vibe right. Candle. I, 
that's TV shit, nigga. You just need to yeah. have a good mindset going into you need whatever to be you. Focus, man. I swear to God, and that's the funny. I I tell a lot of people like they don't understand like this writing shit. Like when you write, it's mm -hmm. different. Every time I'm writing, the two times I feel like most inspired when I'm writing is when I'm in the car and I'm driving on the yeah. highway. Granted, I should not be on my notes driving and shit. Facts, and when I'm shitting, I, I swear to God, when I'm on the toilet, time. bruh, when I'm on the toilet and I'm and I'm driving, that's the two times I feel so inspired, bruh. And I don't know why. I don't know why, but that's when they, the, the, that's when I'm really flowing. And I get in the studio and it all just comes out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For so. sure, for sure. So, yeah, yeah. I see you got a show coming up, man. Yeah, you man. Me? Shit, on the 29th. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be over at Cornerstone with Pimp Toby. You know, my boy mm -hmm. D-Dot. A couple other folks going to pull up on us. We got, sure. some, we got some special guests we're bringing out, so. Okay, okay. We're going we gonna to rock that Look shit out, for out that, man. man. Look yeah. out for that, 29th, man. 29th, this Friday. We're going to yeah, be at Cornerstone, man. you feel me? So, so tap in for your tickets, too, you know? So, Always. like, what would you say is, like, like preparing for a show, what, what, like, what would you tell an artist that's, you know, up and coming and ain't really performed like that? Like, Honestly, bro, know your shit. Like, it, even, so, like, you see in music videos when niggas ain't, and they ain't lip syncing, it's not always on the videographer. Yeah. You gotta know your shit. Yeah, and like, going into a show, that's the same same principle apply. Like, it's, it's, it, it's gonna, it's gonna translate that you're not, like, you gotta have comfortability mm -hmm. on stage. That's one thing is, like, you gotta, my pops, like, another thing my pops say, you gotta get uncomfortable to be comfortable. So, like, there's, I've had plenty of shows where I, I fucked up, forgot my words, nobody showed up, like, type shit you gotta have those trial and errors it's not gonna happen overnight mm -hmm. unless you Justin Bieber and you're a one hit like or just overnight success it's, you feel me like you're not the rare rose a lot of times mm -hmm. like yeah we all got talents we all talented I love everybody I'm around everybody I surround myself with is a talented individual but I will say everybody around me pushes me to keep working like it ain't no mm -hmm. like walk in the park like yeah there's some shit about this is walk in the park but always for a show like don't just go into it like oh you got it like you ain't on tour, like on no like Motley Crue rock star shit. You can just you feel me? Yes, yeah, sir. Hell yeah. Little Jakey, little Jakey. No, it's nice. It's it's working. It's hitting. Bloopers, you feel me? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So like, like you said, man, you gotta you just kind of be ready. You feel me? Yeah, man. You gotta stay ready. So like, what would you say you like making the most? Like I know you say you sing, but like, what yeah. would you, what would you prefer as far as just being? In the industry period, like, what would you prefer doing? The like, most? my, what, like, entry, entry type sound? Yeah. My entry sound? I, shit, man, I be, me and my niggas be talking about this shit every time mm -hmm. we hit the studio, like, really, what is your sound, like, what do you, what do you categorize yourself as? Yeah. And I don't know, bro, like. I could say, I could say you versatile, you feel me? So, like, what, would you say it's best to be versatile, or? <coughs> <coughs> shit. Off tops. <coughs> it's so good to be versatile, just because it's like, that opens up so many more lanes for you. Mm -hmm. Like if you think about it in terms of features, like yeah. I feel like myself, I could get a feature from like a Jay Green from Florida, like mm -hmm. a, a or, or or a melodic ass Florida rapper. You yeah. know what I mean? Or I could go and get a fucking Memphis nigga and get mm -hmm. on a song, and I could rap like that. Or I could go to New York, I could get on some drill shit. I could get on that UK drill shit. Me and my roommate, we've been listening to that shit like it's like heavy. I be K Flock, I fuck with K Flock. For like sure. that sound is hard, but it's like because I'm in so many different lanes, I could also sing. I could get on it. I've been dropping a lot of Drake type shit, mm -hmm. or or I sing like fucking Chris Brown. Are you feel me? Like I could do all that shit, but it's like I don't know. I don't know. I really can't tell you. But yeah. I really try to like. I can't think of one artist that can do it all like that. You feel me? Like I probably there probably is like not to knock niggas, but I know like right now off tops like I'm, I'm in my own lane. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I say yeah. you feel me. Being like a, a OG told me, man, you gotta be a vending machine. You feel me? As yeah. far as like when somebody come to your catalog, they gotta pick like you know what they like. For yeah. Real, cause off top. They probably not in, interested in this song, mm -hmm. but they probably fuck with the next song. You feel me? And that kind of yeah. goes into how I do projects. Like yeah. when I put projects out, I try to like like I, there be times when I'm gonna do a whole R&B project or I'm mm -hmm. gonna do this. I just put the project out and I put like a couple R&B songs in there. Put some like my Detroit sounds. I'll put mm -hmm. some different LA sounds. And some, any, I'll mix it up. And that's just because I want to put a whole piece of body, body, like a whole body of work out. And you pick through that shit what you like. You feel know I me? Mean? So a lot like, of times I got to focus on a sound, but that's how I really be drip, like dropping shit. It's just. Yeah, so what yeah. would you say like as far as producers like or the type of production, where do you look for it? 
Shit, I really like my produce, like producing, like my beat catalog. Mm -hmm. It really, it like it's select. Like I, I only, like I try to only fuck with <clears throat> a certain amount of people. Like I fuck with my nigga Vinny, Vinny mm -hmm. the Wizard, uh, my nigga KD, uh, Bach, Bakery man, <laughs> Bakery. If crazy. you ain't got a beat from Bakery Burner, you 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 don't love your craft like you say. You going crazy. I see everybody doing crazy. challenges. You Shit. Feel me? You ain't got on the challenge yet, man. You better have them. on, bro. You feel me? It's, it's out there. They trying to get one Shit, there for sure. Who else? My nigga D-Dot, bro. Any beat, you, you get a D-Dot beat, man. Like, oh, yeah, you guys, going that's crazy one thing, too. too. A new artist, I really recommend. If you're really serious about your craft, get with a producer. Like, not get with a producer, but find somebody that really, like, it's, it's catering to your sound. Mm -hmm. And you got it, it takes money to make money. So if you got to pay a nigga, mm -hmm. pay a nigga. You feel me? But, like, just get with a get with a producer so that way you ain't you know outsourcing right. and you don't gotta worry about leasing and all that shit. And yeah, just, I feel like yeah. I feel like a lot of people they look for somebody that's already uh, in the game. Yeah. To whereas you gotta look for somebody really like not even looking, but you gotta connect with somebody with time, Facts. like the same time schedule as you. Facts. Or Facts. not even necessarily the t the same time schedule, but just somebody that could work with you yeah. on that level. That's and I'll give you this one too. I remember when I just met. I, October 2020 is when I first like officially linked up with Dot and like mm -hmm. Royalty Door. This our little label, our little group, Royalty Door. I linked up with them niggas in 2020, in uh, October 2020. And when I met them, I got I just got back from LA on this little like it was like Dreamville. Uh, yeah, I went to it was like Dreamville's little like mm -hmm. camp. They locked us in in this in this cabin in Big Bear. It was like 20 rooms, yeah. and it was like 16 producers, hella Damn. engineers, hella artists. We was locked That's in like a movie. It was it was nigga. It was a movie, bro. Like they were like you can't you can't leave. All y'all can do is make music. And I was like I think I came out the camp MVP. Like yeah. I made like eight nine songs in two days. And oh, everybody yeah. was sleep and doing other shit. I'm like nah, come on. I locked in with hella people. My nigga Time Machine from LA. Uh, my nigga Hefe. He put it on, so shout out Hefe. Mm, but nah, okay. from that nigga, like, more of the story is I went and I met this producer. He was a 17 year old nigga mm -hmm. named Nick Bianchi, right? My nigga from LA, Rari, he put me on. He said, hey, there's a dude out there in the bay. He's 17, little white dude. He mm -hmm. make cold ass beats. I said, all right. So I DM, bruh, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, my, uh, uh, so and so told me about you. Like, let's link up. And before I met him, he had already sent me hella beats. He gave me like a, like a 40 beat pack. And yeah. I dropped my album, uh, Groovy. And my song, uh, Energy, is the second song on my album, on that album. Uh, he produced that shit. And I dropped the whole album, months go on, I finally meet him. Like, he is not who I thought the nigga produced it was, like, produced the beat. Yeah. So moral of the story is, like, don't be afraid to get outside your comfort zone when it comes to finding producers. Because right. you'll never know, like, nigga, the nigga that produced Rubbing Off the Paint is from Sweden. Yeah. From for YB, uh, YB in the mirror? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. To you. <laughs> He's from Sweden, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, like overseas producers, yeah. they've been going crazy out here. Just like, you feel me? Like, you know, as far as like New York and just down south and shit. You feel me? You even always out, gotta even get out, out here, you feel zone, me? Bro. Even oh, out here, a lot of people, yeah. you know, tapping in with the international, you know, different states and different yeah. countries. My nigga Okami, like you got a like, dancer from Paris. He be always coming yeah. out here. Shout out Okami, that nigga go crazy. So, uh, your style, man, you feel me? Like yeah. I said, man, the glasses, you feel me? But, you know, I see you on the gram, you feel me? You got, like, a unique type of style. Hell yeah. You feel me? What would you say, like, how can you describe it? Or, like, what's the what's man. word for it? So, the word, like I said, like, I don't want to be go, come back to the, the groovy, but, like, everything I do, I feel like I'm on my own way, kind of, like, and I don't, like, that sounds like, like, you know, everybody has their own way, mm -hmm. their own sound, own type thing, but it's like, I don't conform, I don't, I don't, a lot of the shit I wear, like shit I do, like I don't try to do copy other niggas. Like yeah. my roommates, I credit my roommates just because they be put me up on game. Shout out Mariah, shout out Mondi. Uh, they be put me up on game and shit. So it's like on my clothing game, like you know what's in, what's out. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the shit I do, like I do it because I want to do it. A lot of shit I wear, I wear because I want to wear. You know I me. Mean? Mm -hmm. So it's I don't really conform to shit, and that's one thing like I is 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 non like, don't don't conform. Don't like, don't conform. That's, yeah. that's my style. Be, like, don't your, conform. be yourself for real. You yeah. Know? Facts. That's Facts. really what it is. I say like, even Cali period or the Bay Area, like everybody got their own style for real. Or everybody is like, you know, they don't really care. You yeah. feel me? You can't. Kind of, you know, they with their own little wave. You, you can't. Feel me? You don't really kind of go with the trends. Like and that. it's like it makes it better when you like, for me at least, I feel like I'm in a I'm in a group where. 
I consider, I got like four or five people on here where I know like when I blow, when I make it, they come in with me. And they not once have ever, they'll check and I, you need niggas to check you. Like, hey, bro, that's just not it. You ain't, mm. you ain't moving right. You're moving kind of funny. Yeah, facts. Those, they're my niggas, bro. Like, the royalty door is my family. So, like, yeah. I just realized when you get, when you get to a certain point and you want to, like, you kind of, like, out, not outsource, outsource within your family. You feel me? Like, Fact. ask them, okay, hey, next move, what y'all thinking? Like, yeah. this shit is chess, not checkers. Yeah, you need a team, not an entourage. Man. Exactly. Team, not an entourage. Because yeah. sure, that shit sure. comes. Like, you feel me? Like, you got your friends that's been around since you told the niggas you want to make music. Yeah. You feel me? But it comes to a point where you got to, like, all right. Everybody that's in this, everybody that's at this circle right now plays a part. Mm -hmm. Whether you producing, whether you managing, or you connecting with tours or shows, like everything, everything plays a part. You feel me? Like we at this table right now, we all at family dinner or Sunday dinner and some shit. Like you know, like in Fast and Furious, everybody driving their different type yeah. of car, everybody doing their different type of thing, but it's all for the family. Right. That's what you gotta, you gotta kind of like realize. Like there's been times when I was playing football, bro. Like when I was a younger nigga, I used to be a lineman. I used to hate being on the line, bro. I used to yeah. hate going with the little fat, pudgy kids doing that shit. I got older, I worked on what I wanted to work on, I became a mm -hmm. linebacker, you feel me? It's like, I realized when you want to work for something and you want to work your way up, you got to do shit you don't want to do to get where you want to get. Facts, you got to be uncomfortable, yeah. man. Yeah, play your position, bro. Play your position until you can shine. Um, Facts, so what you smoking on today, man? Shit, today I was smoking on some shit. It's it's my it's my it's my my lovely jar that I always be. It's my stash jar. I always keep this. Mm -hmm. but it's not no. It's Grizzly Peak. I was smoking that strawberry cheesecake. I ain't gonna lie, but I do be smoking on my my niggas my uh my my OG undercover head stash my, uh, my plug. So mm -hmm. shout out shout out my niggas at head stash. Um, but yeah, I just be smoking hello whatever whatever I get my hands on really. That's not stupid. I ain't smoking on no booth, but. I don't know, bro. My favorite strains right now, I really like sativas. I like the tangies. I love mm -hmm. anything sour. Lemons, I like lemons. Uh, a lot of a lot of gelatos too. So it don't really matter as long as it get me up there. You feel me? Facts, facts. Yeah. So like, what was your first time getting high like? Right? Yeah. Or what's the crazy? Yo, story? my first time getting high. <laughs> I was uh, I was honestly I was a late bloomer with with, with like with the weed and shit. I was like mm -hmm. 15, nigga. 15, 16. Oh, I, mean, I, really, yeah. I mean, it felt late because it went shit. And Tracy, know, all my niggas was smoking too, at like 9 and 10. I'm like, yo, <laughs> y'all smoking out the apple and I shit. Mean, like, Kelly, you gonna, you gonna start smoking at it. Yeah, yeah facts, that facts. Be, uh, so I was like 15, and it was after my I was a, after my, my football games. One of my OGs on the on the varsity team was like, hey, we gonna throw a party at my house. Y'all could come. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, shit. We going to the OG. Like, we going to the senior's house, yeah. bro. It's hot. Mm -hmm. So we get there. And one of his his cousin was like, hey, bro, you ever smoked before? And I'm like, you know, yeah, yeah. The guy, I'm hitting the blunt like this, bro. I shit you not. I, it's, it's lit. I hit the blunt. <laughs> I can't even lie, nigga. I hit the blunt, and I just blew it like a cigar. I puffed it out. They all started clowning me. They're like, ah, nigga, you ain't smoking. They told me how to hit it. I hit that shit. I, we went and watched college football on TV. I just stared at the NCAA logo in the corner, nigga. I was just stuck. It was the first time I ever smoked weed. I was just watching college football, yeah. but I wasn't watching the football. <laughs> you feel me? You were just you I was know, stuck. Just in the mode. Stuck. For real. I got fifty dollars with the Jack in the Box and didn't eat none of it. I don't know yeah. why. I was just so hot. Didn't eat it. Yeah, that's some hot shit. That's some hot shit for real. That's some hot shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what would you say? You like now that you've been smoking? What's your favorite strand now? Favorite strand? I really. Uh, there was this shit. Oh, it's called Modified Grapes. It's by. Um, King Clone, I think. Or, yeah, I think that's the company. Modified Grapes. And then uh, Headstash got some shit, bruh. The Helado. Headstash is really my favorite. Everything Headstash is my favorite, bruh. Like, I love all that shit, but I love the Helado. There's some other flavors I can't even talk about that I like. So it's like, I got some, they got some Zyle. I just, anything Headstash, bruh. For sure, for sure. Okay. You got to tap in with them, Hell man. Yeah, for man. Sure. That's it. That's, that's, got some dope. So, like, if you was to smoke bones, peppers, or blunts, what would you pick? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Growing up, I used to be big on like the bongs just because it was like mm -hmm. quick hit, boom. You ain't gotta worry about smelling yeah. and shit. But now I love me some backwards. Backwards, give me a Fonto leaf. The grabbers be too dry now, bro. They be fucking up my throat, like for, for, sure. for real. So I just be trying to fuck with the, with the, the Fontos or backwards. But I don't know. If you give me anything, I'll smoke it. That's weed. 
<laughs> weed. Hey. Hey, weed. man. True stoner. True stoner. Yeah, facts. Facts. True stoner. Off top. For off sure. Top. So, like, uh, any projects you got in the motion? You feel yeah, me? man. Yeah. So, I just actually dropped a project called Montana. Uh, probably not too long ago. So, right now, I'm just kind of focusing on a lot of singles. Um, working with my brothers and shit. I got some shit with Doc coming up. I got a lot of shit with a lot of people. Uh, my nigga Tedro, uh, Tedro Montana. That's the name of the project, Tedro Montana. But my nigga Tedro Dollar, we got that shit coming out soon. Uh, we got some good songs on that shit too. We've been, we've been saving up for that. We was, we really started working on Tedro Montana like two years ago, and we got like 40 over like 30, 40 songs done. And we just have to narrow it down. We gonna drop one Tedro Montana, maybe a second one. Okay. We'll, we'll see what's up, but yeah, that's really For it. Sure. It's just uh, right now I'm working on the vault. Like I'm not trying to make nothing new, but just rec like I always record myself. You feel me? Like if I have something mm -hmm. that comes to mind, I'm gonna do it. But right now I'm just focusing on like getting a lot of singles out, singles, and then Tedro Montana with two focuses right now. For sure, for sure. Okay, okay. my boy okay. working, okay. man. We're we're always gotta be working. For sure. Okay. Yeah. So like, if it was like a, a artist that you can make. Um, like a smoking or you know like that a vibing type song with you feel me what's the top artist Ooh. in the game you pick right now who would i make a vibing type song i ain't gonna lie man <laughs> it would be hard it would be either larry my nigga big 30 or i would have to go big scar big scar got some sounds right now okay. I wanna, like, or, or honestly key glock i'll make a song with key glock we, we, it's a big song that would be a hit for sure, for That'll sure. That'll be a big hit. For sure. Y'all gonna have a smoke off or something? Shit. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, off top. But I'm telling you, I don't know if that nigga keep up with me, though. Okay, I know he's smoking okay. dope, but... For sure. What's your, what's your favorite stoner movie? Ooh, Mac and Dev go to high school. That's off top. That shit funny as hell. It'll always for be sure. funny. Always be funny. I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's that shit good. That shit funny as hell. And How High, man. How High? Oh, yeah. yeah. High, that shit, man. too. That shit's, that shit's hella funny, too. For sure, for sure. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I got a couple more questions, man, before we get up out of here. So yeah. uh, you feel me? How important is like being a lyricist to you? Super important, cause it's like you had a beat, you carry the beat, or the beat beat carries you, or whatever mm -hmm. they may say. But like, I want I want people to remember me for what I'm saying. You feel me? Like a lot of times, I don't know if it's related to anybody else, but like my parents, they don't fuck with my music type. They, they hate that I be making the shit I make because they hella religious and shit. Yeah. But like, I just always know that I want everybody to remember my shit by like, like whatever I say in it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, there's gonna be times where like I make make a raunchy ass song. My mom's like, I ain't wanna hear that. Yeah. And then there's times where I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna make a song that like I know my family need to hear. It. You know yeah. what I mean? And and granted, I'll sprinkle some good messages throughout whatever I make, but lyrics are always important just because I want people to realize, like, oh, he ain't just illiterate or just talking shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I got wordplay. Wordplay is important. For sure, for sure. For sure. Yeah, sometimes you got to make that, uh, that, like, you know, like you said, raunchy music. Like, yeah. just kind of, like, fired up, kind of yeah. mentality music. I heard that, 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 just that, that turn get, up get shit. your foot in the door. That you turn know? up shit, for real. You feel me? You got to turn up sometimes. Off top. So yeah. like <clears throat> now that you're getting more consistent views and uh, followers, yeah. How does it feel nowadays? Like just getting a support and performing. Shit, it feels it, it's like honestly it's cool. Like the one part I would say like the coolest thing about it is like when I now when I be going out in public, like some like not it doesn't happen often, but it's like mm -hmm. when I be going out in public, like going out to events or something, people be like, oh what's up, Gary? And I'm like, I don't know who you are but like it's cool that you know me because i really mm -hmm. like that's what i want like you know what i mean i want yeah. people to realize me like like see and realize like oh he an artist for real like right. he, he really in this shit and mm -hmm. like i said like in a couple songs like one of the songs i really like made recently like i've known since about i was seven seven or eight like yeah. if it wasn't gonna be football or, or baseball it was gonna be music you feel mm -hmm. me like i know what i wanted since i was eight and, for sure, for sure. and i did football i did baseball and i'm, I'm on to this and i'm sticking to this and it's it's been working so this shit's a journey, but it's 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 all coming together full circle, for sure. Okay, okay. Hell yeah, man. For sure, for man. Sure. So before we get up out of here, man, where where the like where's the next step in your career, like, and can you also see yourself doing like different things as far as like building a clothing line, like you know, like yeah. you said, you got the style. Yeah, yeah. Or like acting, you feel <laughs> me? Actually, that you say that, it's funny. Um, I'm actually. 
I've been casted in some videos. Mm -hmm. um, I'm playing some like roles. I'm not even like rapping or doing no music on it. I'm like acting in it. Cause I've always, like I grew up acting. I was in plays and shit. Mm -hmm. um, I've done some like backgrounds in movies and stuff. But like, I've just always thought I'm gonna do this music. But now yeah. that I'm getting older, like my next lane I'm going into, I'm probably just gonna focus on like doing some like little acting. I'm gonna try to go to some casting calls and shit. But I just, I, I know I could do any, like anything I put my mind to. So my next lane for sure is gonna be like probably acting. For sure, for so, sure. I'm gonna be up in there. I'm gonna be doing yeah, whatever man, I gotta I do. Little accents and shit. <laughs> I see you if you watch your pictures, man. Hell for yeah, sure. it's a big movie, big film. I mean, thing, big man. Film. Hey, man, it was an honor talking Hell to yeah, you. Bro. Feel me, chopping up with you, man. man. You feel all me, love. my boy yes, Gary. Sir, you feel me? We yes, gonna turn up, man. Anybody you want to shout out before we get up out sure. of here? I want to shout out my mom. Shout out my dad off mm -hmm. top. Uh, shout out the royalty door. Shout out all my family. Shout out Cree. Shout out Dot. Shout out Kenny. Shout out Ian. Shit. Shout out uh, Out the Way Studios, man. Like. Shout out the whole family, man. You know who you are. Shout out my roommates, everybody. Shout out my, shout out my gang, sure. man. So shout out Headstash. Hey, <laughs> big Headstash. Shout out Headstash too, man. <laughs> All right, yeah, man. man. I'm your host, Doug, son, man. We were Green Montana. Yes, you sir, feel sir. me? Yeah, out here. And we sparking up with Vans and Weed. Yes, we out.